Donnie and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business, we can help. Thursday, and all of our guests today, including Troy Stetcher standing by, are brought to you by the Vancouver Giants. Giants would like to thank their fans for their support this season at the LEC. And can't wait to welcome them back for the 2023-2024 season. Get your season tickets for next year now at VancouverGiants.com slash season tickets. As we're joined now by Troy Stetcher, who spent the last NHL season, his seventh NHL season, uh, by the way, with Arizona and Calgary. Troy, thanks for doing this, sir. How are you? Yeah, good. Thanks for having me on the show. Yeah, no problem. Former Canuck as well. I'm sure people in Vancouver <laughs> remember that, uh, Troy. What, what, what a season for you playing in those two markets. Let, let's start uh, in, in Arizona, Troy. The obvious question, what was it like playing at, at Mullet Arena? Did it take you back to your days with Richmond minor hockey? <laughs> um, no, I kind of remind me of being back in juniors playing Penticton. Obviously, same size arena. Um, obviously, different experience, but um, one that I, I really enjoyed. It was a great atmosphere there on a nightly basis. Uh, they did a good job promoting, obviously, and moving locations into Tempe closer to campus. So it was a lot of fun. Um, and obviously something you don't expect as an NHL player, but uh, you just embrace it. Do you see promise with that market, Troy? Um, from a player standpoint, I think you do. Obviously, the the organization as a whole is surrounded by a lot of really good people, uh, coaching staff, management, a training staff, a lot of good teammates there, and uh, I think everybody understands the direction they want to head, and um, the rest of it's out of our control. So obviously you see what's going on kind of in the media with the city of Phoenix. So um, you don't know what's going to arise, but I do think it's a market that obviously can thrive if um, the arena gets built and uh, they can obviously move. From Arizona to Calgary, another obvious question. That's what we, what we do here, Troy. We ask obvious questions. What was it like uh, playing for Daryl Sutter? It was great. I actually really enjoyed playing for him. He's a really well-respected coach. Um, he's had a ton of success around the NHL, uh, dating back to uh, even his time in Calgary. I think he was the coach and GM in their 4 run, and obviously he won the Stanley Cup with L.A., and uh, he was a player back in the day. So he was someone that I came into, kind of heard a lot of different things from some of the players there that uh, were former teammates, and um he was someone I, I respected, and it was a coach I liked playing for. He's kind of my style of coach, uh, and we got along great. So, um, obviously, it's tough to see him go, but that's part of the business. Troy, after leaving Vancouver, you went to Detroit, L.A., Arizona, uh, back to a Canadian market. How fun was it uh, getting back into a Canadian market? Yeah, it's great. You obviously miss the, you know, the competitiveness of, you know, the market, um, the immediate attention. Uh, and the pressure of playing in a Canadian city. So it was something I embraced, something I love to do. Um, and obviously going to, to Calgary in the position that we were in, fighting for a playoff spot in that hunt um, and just falling short was a lot of was a lot of fun and very enjoyable to, to play in a lot of meaningful games. So it was something I was uh, looking forward to when I got the phone call. I got traded there. Well, Troy, you get to pick your next destination because you're a UFA on July 1st. Is there a part of you hoping that the Canucks call? They called last year on July 1st for you. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, obviously, that's something I, I leave to my agent. Um, him and I will obviously have our discussions in the off season, which we've already began, just kind of doing a recap of my year. And moving forward, we'll do some more research on teams and you know, what they need as personnel and opportunity, where they are as an organization going forward, if they're winning culture or if they're in rebuilding phase and um, whatever we see as the best fit is the decision we'll make. Hey, Troy, back to, to, to Daryl Sutter. Sorry to harp on that a, a lot, but you said he's your type of coach. What do you, what do you mean by that? Um, I don't think it's a surprise that I'm not the an offensive defenseman, a uh, natural stay-at-home defenseman. Uh, I'm not going to be a superstar. I feel like I'm a good supporting piece and a depth player. Um, and I'm a player that works hard and keeps my mouth shut. And he's a coach that really respects that and expects the best out of you. Um, and if you're going to pout and you're going to complain, which I don't think I do as, a, as an individual, then you're obviously going to hear it from him. So he's someone that... I respect him the fact where if you work hard, he's going to give you an opportunity. And um, that's exactly what he gave me in Calgary. He gave me a great opportunity to play an important role for their team on the third pair and uh, a lot of meaningful minutes. So uh, I, I really enjoyed my time with them. 
So what was missing in, in Calgary, Troy, is the Flames failed to make the playoffs. A lot of talent there. You know what? I don't really know. Um, when I got there at the deadline, we went 11-4-4. Four and four. So it wasn't like we played bad. Like, we played some really good hockey after the deadline when I got acquired. And, um, it just seemed like some of their issues might have a, a, happened earlier in the season i know they went through a seven game losing stretch i think back in november uh, obviously when i was in arizona so when you lose that many games consecutively which i went through in arizona we had some stretches like that it's really hard to make up ground in this league and um sometimes you get behind the eight ball you that's kind of the writing on the wall these playoffs so far have been strange i don't know how much you're paying uh, attention to them but uh lots of fights and uh Success of the road teams in the playoffs, Troy. Do you have any theories on that? I don't know. I think some of it could go to coaching and matchups, um, taking advantage of having the last change. But um, I just think the game's changed so much now where um, you're injecting youth, um, and it seems like some of these younger guys don't have any fear. Like They're so well-prepared mm. and trained at a younger age now where they're able to come in and have an impact. Um I've been paying attention, obviously, to the playoffs. Um, I love hockey. I love the game, and I wish I was competing. So uh, mm-hmm. I've been watching. But uh, just for a guy, an example, he works with my agent, but Nye's in uh, Toronto. Like he scores a big goal and yeah. coming right out of the college, so right away. So and he's playing with Matthews on the top line. Hmm. Um, so I think we can kind of say that around the league, and I think it definitely has an impact with the results based on the teams. Hey, Troy Canada would love to have had you at the World Hockey Championships. Was it just because you were a UFA? You didn't go. Yeah, it was tough. There was um, kind of right away I, I figured I wouldn't go with my contract, and then seven of us got invited from Calgary. So we were talking about maybe going as a group, um, talking with my agent. He said, you know, at the end of the day, it's your call. And uh, we kind of fell on the decision that it was best that I, I don't go just for that fact that we're, if you get injured uh, and you don't have a contract, you know, they could be used against you. Um, but, yeah, I take a lot of pride and playing for Canada and representing them. I've been twice before, and I would have loved to have gone again, but um, unfortunately I was in a different circumstance this time around. Who's going to win the Stanley Cup, Troy? I've actually been four for five the past four Whoa. years. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. Yeah. And this year I'm already wrong. I had Boston, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't get to answer that question now. You're not the only one, Troy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, exactly. hey, listen, I picked Calgary to be in the Stanley Cup final. Whoa. So, so there you go. Don't don't feel bad. Hey, you've al- always you're right. been, yeah, you've always been good to us. Thanks so much for joining us today, Troy. Really appreciate uh, that and all, all the best in the summer. What are you going to be up to in the summer, by the way, other than trying to sign a new deal? Uh, right now, I'm back in Arizona. Okay. Uh, my girlfriend and I purchased a place here during the season. Um, so we're spending some time here, and then we'll go back to Vancouver sometime in June. And um, I started training on Monday here with the the Coyote staff, which I'm very thankful for that they're open to having me back. And then when I get back home, I'll be back with uh, Ian Gallagher and the group there. And um, just another summer of getting prepared for another 82-game season. All the best, Troy. Again, thanks so much. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Appreciate it. Uh, Troy Stetcher.